G'day everyone, welcome back to Mars The Mission. We're up to August, it's nice and early in the morning still. And I figured I would start with planting some trees. Then I realised that we've got two fields to harvest. And it would probably make sense to get the harvesters going first and then run around and plant the trees. So although the tractor's all ready to go, uh, I'm gonna jump down into one of my harvesters. <laughs> so it's looking pretty with all the tracks for where the tractors and everything are gotta go. But we've got one field in our set of four that we're waiting to harvest. And the other field is a new one that we put in way over past those trees. Alright. I think this is the one that has the higher grain capacity too. Uh, just looking at the big grain topper on the top of it. So we're going to take it all the way over past the trees. I reckon, because we have our parking spots, what do I call them, wood park, because it's over near the sawmill, we can kick this off and let it make its way over past these trees, while I grab the other harvester and start it doing that field there. A bit of a long run back. This one only folds out a little bit. The benefit of these is they both have the same width grain header on them. So once I well, harvest this massive field in one go, I'll be able to put both of them in and have them working together. But for now, it looks like that one's heading over to where it needs to go without a problem. A little bit slow around the corners, but it's doing good. So let's set it off on the standard cape AI worker. It should still be pretty good, although it's going to fill up the sorghum fast. Uh, this sorghum, I think I'll put through our flower factory so that. I can get a bit more pig food because the pigs are starting to chew through their food pretty quickly. I'll go see if I can find my other harvester. Hopefully it's a grain field and not corn or something over there. Let's have a look. So grain 01 is the field that we're going to harvest up past the trees. Uh, and it has corn, so I need to bring this harvester back uh, and put the corn header on it. So somebody put a planter in front of the grain header that I need, or the corn and a sunflower header that I need. It's hard to get good help nowadays. And all my tractors have got stuff on them. What's this one? I think he will be okay. Hmm. And I do need to replant that field over there, so... I'm going to say this is fortuitous. Need to find some grain. Not grain, seed bags. I wonder where my seed bags are. Might need to buy some more, I think. So he can park there for a second. 
going to direct drill the field so we won't need to plough it up or anything and we'll go jump in our nice yellow JCB and pick up a trailer to take over to that first harvester that's full and needs to empty out so it says it's full but it's still moving AI workers are weird I wonder if it'll just empty out for me. Ah, bonus, it stopped. And I think it was 10,000 litres in that grain hopper. So we're going to get 40,000 litres or so off this field. I might need to keep maybe the last load out of the harvester for the chickens although I'm pretty sure I've got a trailer sitting over there still uh, that has sorghum in it try and reverse these without causing them too much mayhem uh, he should be good just sitting here so wow when this field is fully planted, if we're going to get maybe four loads of grain off this tiny one, <laughs> we're going to get, I don't know how much off this massive field, but it should be a big jump towards the amount that we need uh, to meet the map goals. Now, I need to get back to my harvester. still be in the way. We'll ditch the grain header and pick up the corn header. Now we have a field grain 01 and we want to go to the left or the west side of it so I'll keep this guy off actually I'll move him over here so that it doesn't have to do a big donut and kick him off again I assume it'll get there eventually if not, we'll go rescue it at some stage. Ooh, because I have lots of money. What's in the sale? Hmm, class header wouldn't be too bad. Don't need a logging truck and we're doing auto loading, so definitely don't need a telehandler. What I do have to do is get a tractor and hook up to those trailers though. move this out of the way. I was lazy at the end of last episode and didn't park anything in its spot. I just sent everything home. Oh, look at that. Fits nicely in its very own parking spot so it's out of the way. Go grab these trailers and send them over to the grain field as well. Fairly sure these are the higher capacity ones. That's a really steep hill up there. get one and a bit more unloads into the front trailer. Which 
you how about I go and get this other harvester started before I get too sidetracked which I know is a very nasty habit just make sure this fills up and then keeps going it's done might get one in a little bit more loads off that one all right we'll go get this other harvester kicked off or I'll forget about it <sighs> made it without issues so there's our timber plantation the sawmill and this massive field Since we got corn, and folders. That's all it unfolds. But it takes a while for that little bit in the middle to come up. We'll get it into the field, then kick it off, and see how we go. So that's our nice big grain O1 field. Uh, probably don't need 10. So it'll go round and round lots and then up and down the middle for a bit. That looks pretty good to me. If I jump back. take a while. It's going to take an hour and a half. That's a long while. Luckily both these trailers are 35 and 40 thousand litres. Uh, I might leave it over here to make sure there's plenty of room for the harvester to get to it. Anyway, the other harvester is complaining that it's just about full. Um, let's go for a bit of tab fun and see what tractors I jump into. Uh, well, I don't need to replant this field, so I can probably drop that drill off there. Although it will eventually go over to the cornfield to replant. And I pick up the forage wagon. Of which we have two very cute ones. Now these harvesters are 5.8 metres. Oh. Uh, and we're going to have the same problem where I can't do a course play course because it picks up the whole field since I've done an outline for the whole field. Okay. Plan B is I'll send it over here to start with. It can go over to the cornfield. pretty good. We'll jump into our green tractor and trailer, JCB, and zip around since we don't have crop destruction on this series either, and get this unloaded. I might drop it in the back trailer just in case. It's only about 5,000 litres of capacity left in that front trailer. And it's full so we better move the tractor out of the way. I'll probably manually pick up the straw in this field. Uh, but there's no rush in doing it. 
Uh, so it's going to be, I think, two months until all of this is ready to harvest. This is seven of eight, so the was it, canola's got two months to go. And way over here. What do we have? Oat will, oh, oat will be ready next month. These are really big fields when you run across them. And wheat will be ready next month. So it looks like these two fields will be able to do the month after the canola and then we can replant this totally massive field. Alright, I might go check on how our corn's going because it's had a little bit of time to itself. Alright, we've got our forage wagon. The corn's only 70% full, so it might even get back here before it fills up, which will be really nice. But I want to jump into the harvester, copy its course, and then paste it into the forage wagon tractor. So let's go find the harvester. It's really slow too, but maybe I should have tried to increase its speed slightly. Because 10 kilometers an hour might be realistic and all. But when it's going to take another hour and a half for it to finish this field, that's just a little bit much. So I've copied the course, and once we get down here a little bit, I'll hop into the forage wagon, paste that in, and see how we go. Now I'll just sit with this for a second. It's always fun watching it chew up the corn stalks. That looks a bit better. Although it happened so quick it's really just a blur anyway. So, if it didn't quite get around before it filled up, it'll be interesting to see where it goes now. Or, potentially, it would be good to sell these and buy two bigger harvesters if we can get enough extra cash. So, it's filled up. Yes, we can zip around the corner. Maybe a little bit tight. I think we're going to get an awful lot of corn off this field. The question is, what sort of crop are we currently storing? Corn, soybean, sunflower, sorghum, canola, barley and wheat. I think we're going to start storing oat and put the sunflowers through the flour mill or maybe make oil out of it. Sunflowers take seven months to grow so they're a little bit time consuming and there we go I'm gonna put the tractor back over the other side hopefully once that gets going so let's get him kicked off at the nearest waypoint And we'll see how it goes this time, but it really should head over to the trailer all on its very lonesome. Uh, the 
front trailer is going to get filled up with another load. Well, near enough. I don't know how much the back trailer holds, so we'll find that out as we go. So get rid of its current course, paste this one in. Before I start it, I'll just pick up the drakes here. Ooh, might need to move that tractor and trailer forward just a little bit more. As I start at its nearest waypoint, which will be here. And let it go crazy. And we'll just move this forward out of the way. <laughs> In theory, this will all be cool and it will self-unload and I won't need to worry about it for the next hour or so. The other harvester looks like it finished, so we better go check that out. This one's finished. We got 8,000. So this can well, hopefully all fit in the back trailer. Let's jump into this. And rather than do the trees, we'll do a quick run around and pick up all our pallets to sell. Not sure how many pallets of clothes we've made, but I hope it's more than four. There's eight. Price of clothing is that good currently? Clothes are only at twenty-one thousand right now. It's August, so uh, we'll put the trailer back here a little bit. I just want to store these pallets, so I was hoping I could just unload them near the shed there. Until the price is better, because it should still produce a few more over the next month or two. It just looks like it's about five pallets. I'll chuck these in quickly. almost have a second pallet so probably before the end of the seat episode we should be able to put another four or five pallets into the oil mill. <sighs> Instead of selling the clothes we'll just pick up all the veggies here and drop them over to the cell to earth. while those vegetables and everything head over to the salt to earth sale point <laughs> had to come across and unload this corn harvester looks like that back trailer is filling up really quick too Move it forward a little bit then kick it off and we should be good. Might only get one more unload before I need to go uh, and drop the corn into the silo. because it's way quicker. And we'll kick this one off from here. I think it's a bit confused for some reason. Maybe it's the low gravity and the oxygen processes aren't working properly. 
it's a bit lightheaded and doesn't know where to go. Alright, this trailer is only or 58% full, so it's going to take another load in a bit quite happily. Our tractor just hit the <laughs> sell to earth sale point and we made $65,000 just from the lettuce, tomatoes, ickberries and the oil that we had. Okay, so the harvester's still going, got a half hour to go. We've got one more double trailer load of grain off it. But I figure it's time we zip around and chuck in at least another 120 trees. I'm going to start from here and we'll see how we go. Uh, this is just going to be a nice quick time lapse because it takes about 15 minutes to get all these trees planted too. Okay, 121 trees, but that's a pretty good place to stop, so we'll do, might actually go down, eh, stupid edge of the map, might go down the other driveway, side of the driveway and do two rows of trees. Next time when I start planting the trees and then continue on around the edge of the crater with whatever I have left. That's not a bad place for this one to have finished. It looks like the grass might have slightly grown out a little bit more as well. Hopefully in a year or so, or maybe two, all of this dirt will be covered with some nice fresh grass as it continues to expand. It'd be nice to sit down and watch a bit of TV, but I have a harvester I've got to go sort out. While I was planting the trees, it decided to head off to the fuel station and got stuck just trying to fill up. So I did get that sort out, sorted out and put it back onto the field. Still got about 28 minutes to go on that field, but we might hop across and have a look at the progress. Okay, it's not doing too bad. Uh, I given up picking up the straw mostly around it. I, think I got four loads in total off it and took it across to the manure plant but it's now pretty much full as well. So we're just going to plough in the rest of the straw that it's creating. Around here somewhere I started off the planter and I did briefly toss up putting uh, cotton in this field but I have decided against it so we're planting wheat. I'm 
hoping that I finish harvesting before <laughs> the planter wants to come and do the section where the corn is, so I might need to pause it at worst case. But this is going to take at least another half hour. So I think I'll see you all once I finish planting and I'm ready to get it rolling. So what I had planned was to still sell the Steyr and these two Rudolph trailers because they're only 18,000 litres each. So that's about 19,000 per trailer. I think this tractor I got second hand is maybe 6,000. With that I was going to buy the bigger grain trailer and then see if I could afford one of the bigger header units or bigger harvester plus header unit. Uh, let's hop in to the shop and see how we go. So the styres are worth just under 14 so we'll repaint it for 7 grand repair it for $91 and we get 21,000 for it at 130 horsepower it just doesn't cut it to do anything first of the trailers is or 30 grand repair repaint jumps it up to 31 and a half and the other trailer is only worth 23,000 uh, so 24 and a half when it's repaired which all oh, netted me 78,000 near enough it looks like we're going for a Strutman a Perian 3401 30 grand cheaper than the Crone and only 10 grand more than what it just cost us after I sold all those other trailers we can't paint it which is a bit of a shame but I'll buy it quick before I change my mind <laughs> okay well that gets me two really big trailers now to start using however oh there's a couple of tractors in the sale they're way too small but we do have a lizard that's well nearly 60% off got 31 hours on it but if we can bump it up to near enough to 250 horsepower it will come in at our second best tractor after doing that I really hope I got the colors right but this jumps up to be our second best tractor now and it's parking spot once I start it. Oh, it needs to be repaired, but it will park where the style used to be. So. We shall save this. So, blue and red. first it's $1,600 to repair definitely not repainting it I think that looks better anyway oh I know where the light colors come from I'm playing around on the Calm Lands map just for the fun of it and I went with those lighter blue and green colours as my colour choice for that map now the final thing that I was hoping to be able to afford and I can get half of it now and most likely half next month is our new harvester So uh, this one would be cool, but it's over half a million dollars. It holds 27,000 litres. 
I do believe that's our new harvester that we're going with. And at $335,000, we, $335, we can afford a header. That's going to run at 20 kilometers an hour. Go back. Uh, custom eyes. Hundred dollars for some awesome window tinting. Five grand to bump it up to the twenty-four thousand liters. I think is totally acceptable. Not sure why there's a difference in pipe, but we will go for a slightly longer one. And that's all that we can do. So our nice new harvester and header is a pretty big jump up. I think the other big one that we have does 15,000 litres. This does just over 24 and a half. And yes, I will be... Let me buy that before I mess it up. So I will be buying another one of these as soon as I can afford it. That's really dark window tinting. So I think we'll need two of these to handle those big fields. At least that really big field that's going to be in front of us. That combined with the big trailers will be able to empty the harvester twice into them. What I don't have now though is a parking spot for it. Which will make things interesting. So after all my hard work in designing all these parking spots didn't really plan on having a big harvester with an even bigger header attached to it. Okay, I found the trouble. So our nice big harvester was still running, just sitting over here. It will tackle this awesome field next month. It wraps all the way around and all the way down to where the tractors park. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I think it's currently our second biggest field, surprisingly. Because it's so thin, but it's super long. But that's going to be it for this episode. I can't buy anything else because I'm out of money. We'll see the harvester in action next month when we come to harvest a couple of fields way over there. We got our corn harvested and then replanted as wheat. In the description for the videos now I'm going to start keeping track of our goals. So. I've decided on sorghum, oat, barley, soybean, corn and wheat as the six crops that we attempt to get 800,000 litres for. Uh, we did get 140,000 litres of corn off this field so it's not quite as hopeless as I was thinking at the start of the episode. These massive fields should really help us hit that goal a lot quicker. I'm not sure if I'll just replant each field as the same crop each time or alternate them for a bit of fun. Uh, we'll probably see how we go in each of the episodes. As far as the rest of the achievements, we're at six beehives and I don't really have the money to put another one in so we'll stay at six for this episode. We've got 60 cows that are getting pretty close to having some babies. There are 1,080 chickens already so we've smashed the 720 chicken requirements. 
and we have 100 pigs so far out of the 540 that we need. So we're making progress and each of those numbers I'll put into um, the video description each time. That's it for this episode. Things are starting to come together. I'm looking forward to when I can have these couple of fields down here planted as one field rather than the six that they currently are. The trees we have done 1280 now I believe which is oh, assuming it was a thousand trees and not 10,000 we've smashed out of the park but I'm going to keep planting 120 trees an episode and just see how we go. The only thing that will stop that is if I start getting too much latency on the map. Now I might need to just stop doing the trees, otherwise the game's going to be miserable to play. I'm enjoying this now, looking forward to see how the next half a dozen episodes are going to go. Uh, especially since I'm going to do oat in this really big field here. Because it's only a four month growth cycle. So it won't be too long till we can harvest it. I hope within four months we'll be able to buy a second big harvester because that would help a lot. <laughs> okay, until the next episode, I will catch you all later. Welcome back everyone. It looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box.